Hey everybody, how's it going today? It is me, Captain Energy. And today we're taking a look at the Cherry Audio DS1, or the Dream Synth, as they also call it. Uh, this synthesizer is a unique blend of the Insonic ESQ-1, the Kawaii K, and Sequential Prophet VS. So if you hear those sounds and you think the 80s, then you are on the right track. This synthesizer, just the sounds that it has, really remind me of my my you know, my youth in the 80s basically growing up and uh hearing such wonderful uh rich you know bright sounding music that just has not i mean it, it definitely left a mark uh on me and now that we're i've seen some people getting into the 80s and listening to it uh the music from the 80s and and uh the arrival of things like synth wave and that type of thing it just it's it really brings me back and this synthesizer is so well equipped for all of that kind of music just listen to that thick bottom it sounds not even like software it's crazy it's so good that i mean i don't think i'd be able to tell the difference between this and a hardware synth. It just sounds so present um, and rich. Um, let's take a look at the interface here. It does look a little intimidating when you first look at it at first glance but it's really not that bad. What they've got going on here is first we have our arpeggiator right here. We have an arpeggio that we have our, we can transpose the keyboard up or down one octave. We have split layers where we can split the synth from the strings. Now the strings, I'll get into that in a minute, but uh, if you've ever used a Solina, you're going to really like the strings on this synth because they seem to have essentially borrowed the idea <laughs> <laughs> of the way the strings work on a Selena and brought them into this unit. It's very, very nice. Let's see, next we have the synth voice sign right down here where we can, this is where we do some various settings here as far as setting up glide, detune, we've got chord memory, we have a multi trigger, max voice, you can set the polyphony, that type of thing. All that's right here. Next, we go down here to the five different kinds of effects. And each one has various settings. Click this little red button to see what they are. This one says tube grunge fuzz sample crush and tone level. This one's got four, six, eight, ten, and twelve stage uh, phaser. It's modulation. Here we have uh, chorus flanger or rotary speaker. Here's our delay. We have stereo or tape. And over here on the right, we have our reverb with room plate hall galactic and spring. This unit has three LFOs right here, one, two, three. And here are the shapes that you can use with this LFO. Here's your synchronization. These are all the same, the setups right here, one, two, three, except that there's LFO one, two, and three. Some of the things I find interesting or found interesting in, in the patches that come with the synthesizer are the use of LFOs to create sequencers where there are no, there is no integrated sequencer on here to make small uh, looping sequences. However, you can use the LFOs to simulate sort of uh, a sequencer. Like for example, if I go over here, we'll go to, uh, what are we in right now? Right now we're in all presets. So let's go down to, go to rhythms from in here. And now we'll just go to tape me to the club, this one right here. That's one key. they've done is we've got this LFO right here, one, two, and three, and they're all playing at different speeds and they're all controlling different parts of this sound. If I go over here, see LFO one has got this guy right here and it's controlling modulation there. This one's got LFO two and LFO three should be right here. Yep. Now I'm going to, for the heck of it, we're going to do this. I'm going to take this and make this LFO three. 
And let me see what they've got this LFO3 set to right now. This LFO3 is set to the three, uh, the, sorry, the zero degree setting. If I change this one right here to the same, now they're on the same. Some cool stuff you can do with those LFOs. Aside from the LFOs, you have three oscillators, and they're dual oscillators. Each one can have two different sounds to them. So, for example, um, bring out uh, the Bell's sounds here. We'll just grab this right here, and I'm going to turn down these oscillators so we only have one. And you'll see it says sine sine up here, but if I wanted to, I could change one of these to this pad and then this one I could change to something a little more drastic we'll go with the bell so this is my pad there's my bell I can blend between these two not only that I can change the octave of each one Tune, I can turn on glide. And the glide is interesting also because it's per oscillator. Most of the times I've seen glide on any synth that I've ever used, it's every note, all everything. But I could go over here and turn this oscillator up now, which I'm going to do right now. And we'll just put this on, I'm going to put this on saw so we can really hear it. And I'm going to take the... Uh, You'll notice it's not bending. It's not gliding. If I enable glide, I can turn that off for the bell. It's just really cool that you have individual control of glide for both of these. Okay. All right. So. Uh, also, we have our filter over here. We have the VC voltage control filter envelope, voltage control amplification envelope, strings. This is where I was saying earlier about the, uh, if you like the Selena, you're in for a treat. Because, I'm going to put this down here too. We'll just turn off that glide because we're just using this as a, I took a little straight bell. There's my bell, right? a little bit there. And we're going to turn this pitch up a little here. Now, here we go. I'm going to enable the strings. See how we have three octaves of strings? That once you enable them all, you can choose what you want. I could say I just want these two. I just want these two. Do they have any combination? So it kind of gives you that Selena type sound there. I can also tune these. You 
the arpeggiator on them. I mean, <laughs> this synth is insane. I love this thing. Um, anyway, if you've been trying to find a synthesizer to cover your uh, yourself as far as 80s type sounds, uh, you've got a band and you want to do 80s cover tunes, maybe you want to do some synth wave. I cannot find a synth that I recommend higher than this as far f for like an overall just being able to cover pretty much any sound you'd want. Um, it just sounds so good. effects are great everything about the synthesizer is i would say highly recommended especially like i said if you're looking for something to give you that 80s edge for your 80s cover tracks for your synthwave tracks for your cyberpunk tracks i mean if you've ever wanted to do anything from a cover of a madonna song to making something brand new this synth has got you covered and for only 39 bucks right now it's on sale it's a little ridiculous how good the synthesizer is. Uh, Cherry Audio, I gotta say, they that's one of the things I think is great about them. Their synths are reasonably priced and sound phenomenal. I mean, they'd compete with or either compete with or outdo many of the uh, synths in their class. Let's give a couple of sounds in this thing a listen. I'm just going to jump around a couple real quick so we can hear some other stuff. Uh, go over here and we're going to just go to frog bass. kind of go from thin to some of them are a lot thicker. It just sounds so present. Brass, of course, is pretty amazing here. sounds here real quick how about didn't talk about splits and layers i actually wanted to be sure i mentioned this because it's quite interesting they've got going on here for splits and layers that you can split your synth and your strings the the string machine here and the synth which is everything else over here across however you want uh all you've got to do is pick your first key if I press this learn, I can pick my low key and I can pick my high key. Okay. Uh, so then I can pick my low key and my high key here. And 
Now nothing is up above that key, which also lets you, depending on what you're doing with your uh, with your DAW, your DAW, you could actually have a third sound up here because you could actually have some other uh, instrument playing a certain other split point. It, it's interesting. It's something I think of when I use Reason because uh, Reason lets you kind of really break things up any way you want, especially with a combinator. Um, but you could kind of use these in conjunction with a combinator and make some crazy, crazy layers. Um, or something like Unify probably as well. I mean, I haven't really done much with Unify, but I know it's it's there. I have it. I just uh, did not. I'm just not able to really get into it. I need to commit some time to that one of these days. This one is all across everything. So this is like a, a layer scenario. Uh, but if I go over here and we go, all right, hit this, and we go boom through here. So now we'll take this right here. Okay. Now it's just my synth right here. And just my strings here. The other thing that's kind of neat is you could, uh, and one of the things that they do here frequently, is you'll put, put your low and you'll put your high in a place where they overlap partially. So now, now they're together all the way till they get to here. just my strings. It's kind of neat the way they let you do that, though. Anyway, this synth is, I don't want to go on forever about this thing. It's only $39. It's an amazing synth. I think you should check it out. It There is a trial available, so give it a listen. Let's see what you think. Um, I'll put the link down below in my the comments to where you can get this synth i'm not an affiliate i get nothing for telling you about this i was not given the synth i bought it with my own money uh there's no incentive for me to sell you the synthesizer except for that i think it sounds great pretty much 39 dollars or about ten thousand dollars in vintage synthesizers you know <laughs> i'll take 39 bucks thanks but uh yeah so I hope you liked that video. Let me know what you thought in the comments. And don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you did enjoy this content. And I hope to see you all in the next one. Be safe. Enjoy the synthesizer. Make some awesome music. And when you do, share it with me. I'd love to see some of what you did. And if you put something together that you'd like me to share uh, on one of my streams, let me know. I appreciate your time. Have an awesome day. And I'll see you all in the next one. Be careful. Take care. Bye.